Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Losers Become Winners for March 26, 2020. XLF keeps marching on. The Tigers are definitely back on the scoreboard. It is great to see them back, and you know what? My famous motto is, let's go look at the numbers. And there we are. XLF, 26%. You can see it right there for yourselves. It is a two call. Now, we have been in puts for almost two weeks, if not three. In addition, we're having a struggling time in trying to find opportunities within our criteria. But the patience has paid off. Now, the XLF owes us 857. We have two contracts. And this is a ratio trade. Now, I made it a ratio trade because it was so narrow that anything can happen. And there's not much room for, there's not a lot of wiggle room. I mean, look, there's the bottom right there. That's like, ah, that's so tight. So you go to a ratio trade when the opportunity presents itself. And the thing is we're at 141 out of 857. So we're still 710 more or less dollars out. But smart. Now, What's going to happen with the ratio trade? We had the close in the first zone. Remember, the ratio trades one to one. So we'll be moving our stop here to 20.60. Remember, this, this is already included, whatever the buffer is done. So we got to do is just keep closing, closing, and work our way up the ladder until eventually we get out. All right. That said, let's go on to XLE has joined the party. Yes. So let's go over to XLE and see what they have going for themselves. And the text was she popping up very shortly. There, there it is. Now, remember that we had a prior trade on XLE in the past. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm a little bit mistaken here with our count tigers. There it is. Oh, that was the alphas. This was the alpha trade. In fact, we're going to take those notes off because they don't apply anymore. This is how you start cleaning up your charts when you have. Now, unfortunately, XLE is, is in both accounts. So that's what that's about. The alphas, this is the alpha scoreboard, so it moves out of the way. And we're over here. And what is going to be our out? Well, we didn't get the 30%. So not getting the 30%, we are still we are still in a dipper defense. What does that mean? That means this. That means we are this is the dipper right there. You guys can Google it. It's it, it this is a day traders trade right there. That's a day traders trade. They would have got in on the uh, right here at the top. Right there. And that is a conservative and aggressive trade entry point for a dipper entry. And we're only using it for defense. We still held on to our hawk strategy. Oh no, this is a Kingfisher. I'm sorry, Kingfisher. Yes, that was a Kingfisher trade. Ooh. So our stop is here. It's a little still tight. And we're just moving on. All right. So uh, they owe us 110 and 13. They owe us 1300 and they are at 110. All right, let's go over now to the alphas. Good news in the alpha account, too. Not as good as the Tigers, but still two positions, both in positive territory. Uh, let's get over to Waba. Now, you recall Waba is that trade that I made here for a put off this candle off of software. And even reading all my own indicators saying it's a call knock knock it's a call no the software says it's it's a put it's a call and bada boom the indicators one the software zero so that said we are now at eight percent eight percent is our profit zone and our profit zone is right here we're going to be able to move the stop right there and it's a deeper deep oh this is still it matches our black value line is matching the dipper low dipper low is 4310 4310 there is no movement in fact what we need to do is we need to put a price line here so that we know we are dealing with 4310 bingo 
Oh, did I nail that or did I nail it? Now, let's go ahead and also do the following. We're going to come in here and we're going to show price on the, on the left. We're going to show name on the right. We're going to leave it at 4310, but we're changing the color now to green because we are in profit zone. Therefore, what that means is we are in now profit zone exits. That is the profit zone exit. So that's what's going to happen. I'll come back and check that. So where SLB, it was a nice surprise. They are a drilling company for oil. And apparently they're finding some, uh, some, some, some uh, uh, bottom. And again, this was a, this was a ratio trade. And again, another thing too, what triggers a ratio trade? Below the 30 day moving average, because you don't have any, you don't have any other defense. There is no other defense here. This is like last person standing. So we did close here in the first zone. So we are going to be moving the stop here to the 100 and point. Um, I don't see it very close. Oh, that's the percentage. Let me see it is. We're going to be moving it to 1501. I mean, 1505. We're moving it to 1505 right there. So I will be coming back to take care of that. So that really does match, wraps it up for the losers become winners for today with XLF holding on to the lead at 26%. And I thank you very much for stopping by, checking it out. Trade well, trade profitably. We're here to make money. We're not here to prove each other right or wrong. If it doesn't make money, reevaluate, go back, do it again. But the bottom line is create a trading plan. And that's what works. All right. With that said, let's go ahead and conclude today's call for Losers Become Winners.